you know him from the gym. Six foot 10, 275 pound junior. But do you really know Zach Fields? Not really until you get to know a person and you're really with them on a daily basis and you know their interests and their likes and their passions. And Zach certainly has a passion for the outdoors. He would always walk around with his camo on, uh, camo hat with the fish hook. I think it takes him great. That is him. Any, anything country, he knows about it. This is his element. He lives it. He wears it. From head to toe. He is Big Country. Hunting and fishing have always been the big hobbies I've always had and I've always stuck with from the get-go. And when I was 12 or 13 over Thanksgiving break, I remember my uncle asked me if I wanted to go and I said, yeah, sure. That's my first real hunting experience. It just kind of snowballed effect after that. It's not the typical basketball player profile, you know, but it makes me who I am. I mean, that's, that's me and I wouldn't change it for the world. Right now I'm gonna look, I'm gonna start looking for some good signs and uh, just, just some deer evidence that they're around. Actually right here you can see, you can kind of see there's a trail going back into there. And I would assume that a deer is using that or something, something is using that trail to walk. Having a climbing stand is easy to get, get to where you need to go instead of having a permanent lock-on stand that is a lot harder to move. There's just a, a lot bigger of an advantage when you're hunting out of an elevated stand than you do when you hunt on the ground. I just feel like it's just you and Mother Nature. I feel like that is one of the most relaxing things you could ever do, is just being out there and enjoying what God has put on this earth. And like a tree in the woods, his allegiance to his team is unwavering. I think our guys look at Zach as a very loyal guy. You know, he's very loyal to the team, very loyal to the program. And the way he comes to work every single day, I think they just respect him for that. And they know that he has other interests and other hobbies and things that he's involved with. But they have that respect for him because they know he's first and foremost loyal to the team. I mean, it's hard to devote a lot of time to hunting because I do have basketball. And I, that, take, that takes up a lot of time. And I feel like as of right now, when I'm in college, that's where the majority of my time should be devoted. Once I get an education and I get out of college, then I can start putting all my time towards hunting and the outdoors and really getting my dreams going. He's known for his caring heart. He's helpful, kind, and unselfish, and doesn't look to change that in the future. My lifelong dream, and it's going to be a dream until it happens and it will happen one day, I'm going to purchase a lot of land. 500 to 1,000 acres or more. And then eventually I want to open it up to handicapped kids or disabled vets to hunt. It would be a blessing if I got to do that my whole life because I mean, somebody asks you what you get to do for a living and I get to say, make people's dreams come true. I don't, I don't feel like it gets much better than that. Much like a day hunting, he's aiming for his goals. That's exactly why I wake up every morning and do the things that I do is to reach that one goal and it will happen. I mean, it, it sounds like it's hard to, hard to do and there's a lot of things that, there is a lot of things that I have to do and work out, but I feel that I'm determined and dedicated enough that it's gonna happen. No matter the obstacle or the size of the dream, Zach Fields is destined to hit his target. <laughs>